We have another day, another chance to meditate. You've got the strength to meditate. You're alive. Take advantage of that. That chant that we often have, aging is unavoidable, illness, death are unavoidable. The Thai translation can also be read to mean aging is normal, illness is normal, death is normal. We tend to treat them as unusual and out of the ordinary, but they're the normal way of things. It's our own intoxication with youth and health and life that makes us forget. So we just go along ordinarily, and then these things seem to jump out at us out of nowhere, unless we've contemplated them and unless we've prepared. And meditation is said to be a preparation of how to die. You're going to need your wits around you. You're going to need your mindfulness, alertness, and your ardency at a time when the body is really, really weak and the mind get, can be very confused. Because death is something that can be done well or poorly. Well in the sense that you go on to a good place. Poorly in the sense that you leave this body and you go someplace else that's not so good. The best course is when you, the body dies but the mind doesn't take rebirth. But in the meantime, we've got to work on making sure that at the very least we make good choices at that point. So here you've got the life and health and strength. To work on the skills you're going to need at that time when the body is not going to be all that helpful. When you have to depend totally on the mind. As the Buddha said, it's craving and clinging that lead to the next rebirth. He doesn't say, what gets reborn? That's one of those questions he never answers. But he does say, this is how it's done. And so you can look at craving and clinging right now. I mean, there's nothing right now you can look at and say, this is what gets reborn. But you can look. This is the process by which it happens. And you can change the process. You can get some control over your clingings and cravings. At the very least, you can learn how to stay focused on one thing that you know is good and learn how to let go of everything else. You're aware of them, but you don't get distracted by them. There are the birds out there, the crows are calling right now, but that's not your business right now. Your business is the breath coming in and going out. Can you stay with that despite the distractions? Because the distractions right now are relatively mild. At that point, when you're passing away, the distractions are going to be huge. So learn how to stick with one thing regardless, and learn how to be at ease with that one thing. And this will be one of the important skills you're going to need at that point. Get so you're really good at this, and you can discern what, the, what movements of the mind are going to move away from your one thing, and learn how to cut them away. This way concentration and discernment come together and help you. At a point, at that point, when nothing else will be able to help you, but this is, this is going to be your lifeline. So make sure you have these skills on, well in hand.